So good morning or good afternoon, huh? but good morning for many of us or of you as well, except for our guest today. But good morning and thank you for joining us from all over the Americas. We have two special guests today. I will start with Rebecca Vincent, which is the business development manager at Clinique La Prairie, and uh, Olga Denika, who is the nut uh, nutrition specialist as well, which is the topic of today. So ladies, if you want to share your screen and we can start the presentation. I think Rebecca, you have a lovely presentation before we start the subject and I can't wait to share it uh, with everyone. Certainly. Thank you very much, Dominique, while I'm just operating of uh, sharing my uh, screen right now. So it's a pleasure here uh, representing Kida Perry again to, uh, to be able to share a, a, a very short moment together with my, uh, my colleague, Olga, will be uh, tapping into the, the subject of today. Just before, uh, I would like to go very quickly what is the, the philosophy of Kina Perry and then very important, what makes Kina Perry unique. So I just share now my, my screen. I don't know if everybody could see it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's perfect, good. So then I will start my presentation then. Um, so we will start with Kina Perry. So who is Kina Perry? Oops, sorry, just a bit very fast. I don't know what happened. I, I have a very strong finger probably just uh, went through. So uh, we are very happy that the Kina Perry, uh, actually we are the pioneer and we are here to unlock the secret of living uh, together with our guest. And uh, we are also very proud to be uh, a legendary foundation to uh, we evolve today. Uh, we have been pride for several awards to be the most progressive spa clinic until now. And we are uh, founded since 1935 by, uh, by Dr. Nians, who developed our cell therapy that we are still interested until today. But of course, with a lot of innovations and scientific improvement along the time. So as you can see in the photo over here, in the gray photo here that you can see, uh, that is our very iconic uh, La Perry uh, residence building and then up till now that is like a complex that Dominic has been to clean up Perry so she knows that actually we are just uh, uh, next to the lake of Geneva and then uh, surrounded with the mountains behind. So uh, I won't go through in the detail because today we are here to to listen to, to Olga sharing our nutrition philosophy, but I would like to uh, just to share with you a few milestones of Kina Perry. So as I just mentioned before, in 1931, uh, we are um, uh, founded by uh, Dr. Nians. And then in the ninth year of 60, Dr. Nians really published his results uh, in, uh, in cellular therapy. And then that is the breaking new ground at that time uh, you have to imagine a year of 60s. And then we started to use this technology uh, of helping our people to have a healthier uh, health. And in the year of 78, so that is why probably up till now, lots of people associate King La Perry with cosmetic La Perry as a skincare brand. So yes, uh, La Perry Cosmetics skincare was invented here at the Kina Perry. So probably you have already noticed uh, the, the little, uh, uh, um, uh, our residence building actually is the facade. Uh, that is the facade that is uh, on the logo of uh, La Perry Cosmetics. So uh, now we are in the year of 90s. That is very important milestone is uh, we have built our medical center and then also we have founded our uh, uh, immunology committee. And then up to now in the 2016, we're very happy to have another visionary is our uh, actual CEO, Mr. Gipettoni. Uh, with his arrival, we really uh, transformed Kina Perry from a legendary up to now a uh, very innovative driven clinic. So all our program that I'm going to share with you, 16 of them, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to do it later on. All our program, they are based on four pillars. They are nutrition, that is the topic of today, medical care, wellness, and movement. So of course, at the very end of my presentation, I will also share with you our future development very quickly in two words. So what makes Clinic La Perry unique is really that we are a uniqueness of combining the medical center at the same time of the wellness and the most luxurious hospitality uh, all under one roof. 
So in a few uh, numbers here, you could see at the cleanup period, we are very grateful. We are going to celebrate a very special anniversary this year. That is our 90 years of history behind. And uh, more than that, uh, because that we have these uh, 50 medical specialists and also 150 uh, experts by like Olga is one of them. All together, we have 200 very, uh, let's say, specialists in their area. So we have uh, a ratio of five to one. So which means each client, you have five staff is uh, worth serving them. And normally that in the uh, luxurious uh, hospitalities uh, ratio is one to four. So as just the Dominic mentioned that uh, at the clinic here, we, we speak all kinds of languages because we have a customers coming from 80 different countries all over the world. And then we are very grateful because the wonderful services and of course the, uh, the efficient treatments of programs they have received, we have 65% uh, of returning rates. So 65% of them, they are coming back every two years. And then we are, really putting our best to uh, to satisfy them and always bring something new. Again, innovation is the heart of King Perry. So with that heart, what is our mission? It's really to not only help, but also to inspire people to live a longer, healthier and better life. It's not because today that we have the COVID that we are saying, hey, it's important uh, to take care of your health, but we are, we are saying that we're pretty up since 1931. And really that is something we, we do it from heart. It's not really uh, uh, just saying, okay, how you could live uh, longer, but healthier, have a better quality of life. And again, COVID could once prove that our true wealth actually is our health. So what we concentrate is to bring a long-term uh, changes for our clients, especially we know aging is a matter of, is a process, it's a long-term process. It's not today uh, and then the next day we could become uh, 10 years older, right? Well, sometimes uh, psychologically, yes, when it's very intense. So that's why we will need uh, a very uh, efficient way uh, to, to, uh, to, to bring in these long-term changes. So everything what we do, all the programs, we all combine with ho four holistic pillars. They are medical, nutrition, well-being, and movement. So uh, as I mentioned, the programs that is really been there to have a long-term changes to improve uh, uh, customers' health. Uh, we have four categories that could, uh, the one of them is longevity, well-being, beauty, and the medical parts. So in that goes that what we do also is to offer the most personalized and holistic way uh, to a wellness and well-being. So again, that I won't go into the detail, but uh, and then later I'm very happy that Dominic, we might have the chance to share even deeper to deep uh, dive into each program, to what are the specialty. But I could already tell you upfront that uh, most of our clients, they are here to follow our longevity program that is our revitalization program because we have a special patent behind also that is really to contribute to boost your immune system and restore uh, vitality. Then we have under the category of well-being, we have the master detox program and then also the weight loss system. And then for example, this summer, again, innovation is important. We are bringing a new program almost every year. Uh, so we have a shorter program that is energizing wellness uh, from this summer. Of course, we have a category that is more beauty oriented. And then, uh, and then we have this new technology called stem cell also uh, that are meant to rejuvenate uh, also your skin uh, tissue. And the last program is our medical programs that uh, of course you could come for a week checkup combined with wellness, or for example, the, the short stay like a fortnight immunity boost uh, compared to revitalization. Immunity boost is something more uh, short term, but very effective straight away. Uh, then we have something even more exclusively uh, a special one that is our corporate executive vitality. So that is for, uh, for corporate wellness, for the team building that goes to uh, six days. So that is a holistic approach for uh, the team to be able to reconnect and very important, the personal reflections and the group connections. 
So um, what making that Perry uh, so unique, of course, is this uh, full fledged of our medical center. And then at the same time, we have a multi world winning spa or be bringing together with the luxurious and bespoke services. Uh, in our medical center, actually, we have 30 specialists. We have 50 doctors that are providing different kinds of surgery, consultation. We have three excellency center from aesthetic to dentistry uh, until more specific is a sports center. And then uh, all together with a relaxing environment that is our multi award winning that's 1,600 square meters of spa where you have climb pads, swimming pool. And then of course, on top of the bonus is the view of uh, Lac Lemon with, uh, with the Lake of Geneva where uh, <laughs> behind Dominic. So that is uh, also a, a quick peek of uh, uh, the environment of uh, Pena Perry. And then, so you can see our restaurant. You can imagine it's that's what we call it's a Mont is a, a Mont Riviera region. So compared to the French Riviera, we are the Riviera region of uh, Switzerland. So um, uh, I would like to highlight before closing my presentation is really we put a lot of uh, efforts on um, bringing the very last innovation. Uh, technology into whatever we do. So uh, we have uh, established, we have uh, this life science division uh, since last year, and then it will be a, a part of our overall uh, conceptions of all our programs. So we have integrated the DNA genetic test into a certain uh, a program, Revitalization Master's on Web Management Program, that is really aimed to help you to discover or rediscover your uh, genetic uh, capital and identify the genetic weakness at the same time, and then how we could help you to change that later th through, the, through nutrition, through movement, and of course, medical uh, follow-up. Then we have also the stem cell I just mentioned. Then that is the topic of today that uh, Olga will share our nutrition approach. And then I'm very glad also Olga have this opportunity uh, to, to bring up because she's also the person that drives behind all these nutrigenomics uh, into uh, how we could integrate into our uh, nutrition approach with the nutrigenomics uh, um, approach. So, um, all that innovation is very important, but really the first thing first is the customer satisfaction, right? And then, uh, so we're very happy that uh, our customer score is 90 percent of uh, net promoter score. So they are not only satisfied uh, their service or the treatment they have received, but also they promote to their uh, friends. Uh, very last, uh, Kina Perry, we would like to accompany further our customers from where they are here at the Kina Perry into their daily life. So uh, in the very near future, uh, you will see already in the city hubs and then also the COP Wellness Resort, especially COP Wellness Resort will be opening up in one resort in each continent and city hubs you will see more so for example we have started uh, in madrid in 2020 we have opened our aesthetic and longevity suite and in bangkok we have our aesthetic and medical spa under St. Regis Hotel. So those are the city hubs where it's also the touch point for Kina Perry to be able to follow up and also for the friends or customer who would like to know more about Kina Perry uh, to be able to have the first information of clinic. So that is the end of my presentation. And then I will give the floor to uh, the topic of today that is Olga for the nutrition part. Thank you very much, Rebecca. So Olga, I know you've prepared for us a little video huh? and then you will answer the question maybe at the end and that everybody could have on that subject. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Dominique, for this introduction, for this lovely presentation. I'm really happy to be here, uh, despite the current situation, to sharing this, uh, this opportunity of uh, an exchange and also maybe to have a small discussion um, after. 
But before that, I wanted just to share with you our newest video about our nutrition pillar. We just finalized and solid, we did a solidification about our approach and our dietetic strategies. And I really hope you'll enjoy it. And then after we can discuss. So here we go. Clinical Paris science-based nutrition approach sustains a long life diet changes. We believe that an anti-inflammatory diet, one of the most powerful strategies to increase longevity, should be the basis of all our lifestyle Sorry. intervention. Our nutritional philosophy provides a comprehensive diet modification that helps reduce inflammation and can be broken down in four objectives, restoring gut microbiota, reducing cellular oxidative damage, improving metabolic flexibility, and of course, sustaining a healthy immune system. Led by our team of dietitians, we provide the highest level of bespoke nutritional interventions with specific targets, promoting neuroprotection, boosting antioxidant capacity, restoring gut barrier, and healthy eating. Our method involves three phases, assessment, intervention and follow-up. After the assessment phase comes the intervention phase. The first step is a purification or neutralization. Instead of counting calories or imposing a strict dietary restriction, we first identify toxic behaviors with the intention of progressively eliminating them, and we prescribe a new approach to eating, which will increase body vitality, purification, and nutrition retention. The last phase of our method is the follow-up. We provide a structured follow-up which aims continuing care after clinical Paris stay. Expert mentoring via our online portal promotes the continuous improvement of healthy behaviors, mindful eating, and nutritional awareness. So it's really important to mention the educational aspect of our method, which is delivered through a motivational environment using innovative strategies for home support and a successful transition to daily life. Thank you very much, Olga. Yeah, it was very well done. Huh? And uh, it brings me a little emotion because I had the chance to do the weight management four years ago at Clinique La Paris and uh, it changed my life. Voilà. Without, without me having to stop eating pizza, but maybe they have a cauliflower base and, <laughs> and so on. Or I can find some coconuts uh, ice cream with no sugar. So you, I have myself learned now to pick the things I eat and uh, eat in smaller quantity, but uh, never feel I was missing anything. Huh? The dark chocolate is the only thing I eat in the sweet section. And uh, well, little changes like that, which are very important and that uh, can definitely help you through your life to live, uh, live better and uh, not canceling anything of your pleasure that you had before. So it was a great... Uh, so let's look uh, at the question if we have any, unless Olga, you wanted maybe to say something else after the video, it's very complete, but uh, do you have anything else that you would like to add? Well, definitely. I'm always very excited to discuss nutrition and we can spend hours here, but probably I will, I will 
stick to the to the question so I will be more I will be more useful in this way just to be able to reply some of the let's say um, interested uh, participants mm -hmm. today maybe um, I don't know what um, if we have anything that uh, uh, I don't see any other any questions so uh, voilà. Any plan to expand to the US uh, is asking Julia. Yes, I could uh, answer that question. Is that uh, uh, yes, certainly. So we are thinking that to, to have a CLP wellness resort opening up uh, in each continent. So of course, including uh, in the US. Mm -hmm. So yes, in the future, uh, you will see a, a nice CLP also in the US. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, uh, Francine. You're asking how has the pandemic affected the clinic and in what way? Right. Certainly, um, uh, the clinic. Of course, we miss our clients, right? <laughs> because more, as I, in my presentation, they are from 80 different countries, and then with the travel restrictions, and so that that is the only things that uh, we are missing. Uh, let's say the, the the travelers from the United States, from Asia. However, we are very grateful to have the supports from European uh, market here in the, in the regions, and of course, we have the new. Uh, customers that is domestic, domestic mm -hmm. travelers from, from Switzerland who are here and they discover wow actually they have something fantastic just next to them yeah so uh, that is the uh, <laughs> what affects us uh, we miss you we miss all the <laughs> partners and, and the customers yeah <laughs> so Duki you said have you made adaptation to diet for immunity uh, especially for COVID Ah, Olga, would you like to answer that? <laughs> well, the basis of our, uh, let's say, dietetic intervention, it's all a focus on an anti-inflammatory approach, as was mentioned in the video. And the interesting thing about that is that an, an anti-inflammatory diet actually acts with special focus also on the immune system. So we know that there is a huge association between aging processes and uh, functional decline of our body as we age and also that it will affect our immune system, our detoxification capacity, many body organs and tissues as well. So we have designed this anti-inflammatory approach that allows us by using in a smart way, special, let's say, um, dietetic choices, constructing, constructing the menu in a way that will allow us to uh, act or at the cellular level, providing anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, uh, healing ingredients to, to our body. So one of them, let's say the purpose of our, uh, of our, of our approach has unique uh, dietary interventions that are capable to provide cellular protection and improves or in some certain, at certain level can also reverse certain processes in our body. As was mentioned, targeting oxidative stress, low grade inflammation, immune system definitely and one of the goals that as well makes part of our of our philosophy nutritional philosophy is also to improve the metabolic flexibility um, in, in all our programs actually the the, the anti-inflammatory diet is the baseline of intervention and according to each program for example, if it's a master detox program, on top of that, we then add um, specific um, interventions that will aim detoxification mechanisms in our body. But coming back to immune system, definitely, if we want to boost immune system, we can make it in a very particular way by using an anti-inflammatory diet, which has also uh, a very structured way of being applied. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Kim, you're asking if the food is vegetarian at Clinique La Prairie? Well, uh, our food is not a vegetarian. Um, we have an approach that is a plant-based diet. So plant-based diet doesn't mean a vegan diet. It's a plant-based plant -based diet. It's actually uh, allowing both animal ingredients and plant-based ingredients, but um, with certain modification about the frequency and the quantity of animal foods that we, we, we allow, plus 
with predominant consumption of plant-based ingredients, plant-based oils, plant-based proteins, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, but it's not a vegan diet. It's a plant-based approach, which allows actually in a certain, uh, as in certain aspects, the use of animal ingredients as well. Mm -hmm. But you can provide if a client is coming and is vegan or is purely vegetarian, you will of yeah. course uh, follow that. Huh? You have a great choice. Uh, we make we make adaptations uh, according to to each patient that we have and uh, his own individuality and his own dietary diet, dietary preferences. And if we have a vegan patient, we then will make all the needed adaptations. Mm -hmm. Well, let me see before I answer some other questions that are not related to the nutrition specifically. If there is, a, oh, but Francis, you want the email information from Olga and Rebecca, they will be doing the follow up. We will be sending you the, the recording. Huh? Uh, do you offer, Pascal, you're asking, do you offer any virtual support for clients to join? Uh, yes, yes. I can. <laughs> <laughs> so, probably from the nutrition part, I will let you go ahead, Olga. I could, yes, sorry. <laughs> yes, we, we do from a traditional point of view. Um, we have uh, many ways to do that. Uh, we, we, we try actually to remain in contact with our patients, or our clients after they leave our, play, our clinic. And the best way to do that, we use an online platform, we have email, we have online consultation as well. And the main reason to do that is to make sure that the goals of the program actually um, are maintained after leaving the, pro the, the, the clinic. And we do a follow up, uh, follow, uh, online follow up to, to our patients, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Francis, you wanted to know when we'll start, when it will start in Madrid, but Madrid has already started unless the, you said as well as stem cells be done. Right. Uh, so very well. Thank you very much, Francis, for these very uh, specific questions. Uh, certainly it's already open in Madrid and then that is an aesthetic uh, longevity uh, uh, suite. So which means we offer, uh, let's say, punctual treatment of all the aesthetic injectables that we could be, uh, could be able to be done over there in Madrid. So it's already opened. Uh, however, because we don't have for the stem cell program that we are uh, doing is we will need an operating theater. So unfortunately, uh, in that infrastructure, they are not designed for a further intervention. So in Madrid, unfortunately not, uh, but well, you are more than welcome to come to Switzerland because yeah. in the stem cell program, which is very important is that we could store uh, the stem cell for up to 20 years in the, uh, in the stem cell bank here in Switzerland. And whereas to save your money, since the, the stem cell is, the, uh, you are really your capitals, uh, Switzerland is one of the, the safest place uh, in terms of the guardians of the wealth and then the health, right? So yeah, so unfortunately not in Madrid. All right, and, and for the we're asking, there will be some travel advisor uh, special offer, so we can discuss that later if there mm -hmm. is uh, huh? some of you that would like to join. Um, Olga, we might have some uh, question. Can you explain further implementation of anti-inflammatory diet at CLP? Right. So as uh, I, it goes a little bit with the very first question about the immunity and the diet that is, it is applied for, for the, to reinforce the immune system. Same thing for, uh, for, I mean, for the, all the problems that we have uh, has this approach of the anti-inflammatory diet, which is based uh, in a selection of, uh, let's say, um, a few strategies that allows us to uh, act at the cellular level to reduce the low-grade inflammation. We know that um, uh, low-grade inflammation is associated or it, it constitutes a trigger for the chronic diseases, uh, which uh, unfortunately it's linked also with, also with the aging processes. And for this reason, and according to the scientific data that allows us to retain a lot of important information, we were able to, to design a science-based nutritional approach that mainly focus on applying or using an anti-inflammatory diet. I've been working with anti-inflammatory diet before, but here at Clinic La Prairie, with the technology that we have, with the knowledge that we have, with the experts that we have, we're able actually to um, make a clear, let's say, uh, construction of the approach. And uh, every time that we have a patient coming uh, in, 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 at, at the clinic library, 
and choosing a program doesn't matter if it's weight loss, master detox, revitalization. Um, we then uh, um, we work together with the patient and progressively adapt their lifestyle and their diet in order to embrace in a very healthy and uh, balanced way all these changes. I can take the example of plant-based uh, approach, which basically al allows us actually to uh, play with the meals and to have um, vegan meals included in, 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 the di in the diet of the patient. Sometimes it's not that easy to make this, this change. So we go progressively by introducing uh, meals that are prepared exclusively with uh, uh, plant ingredients, so it, it's, a, it's a vegan meal. But again, um, our anti-inflammatory diet, it's, it's not a vegan diet, it's a plant-based approach which allows the use uh, of animal ingredients as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You mentioned the DNA test in assessment phase. Can nutrition really change or influence our DNA expression? Right, this is a hot topic everywhere as well. well genetic, genetic tests are an important advanced tool that allows us to do the assessment, uh, which is actually included in assessment phase of our patients. And it's, it's very important uh, to mention that a genetic test doesn't consist in a tool that allows us to pause the diagnostics. Actually, genetic test allows us to, to, to know our patients, to their individuality, and then to personalize um, in respect to many aspects that can be observed in a genetic report. Definitely, uh, technology uh, plays a fundamental uh, role in the future of medicine and clinical therapy as well. Um, but we are looking for a technology that is innovative and non-invasive that will allow us uh, to study actually the dynamics of human body and uh, also the metabolic pathways and needs of the patient uh, that are very important. So one of the most, uh, uh, so we do genetic tests here and in class of that, um, one of the most exciting projects that will be soon uh, available at Clinical APD are the epigenetic tests. Mm -hmm. uh, epigenetic tests are the a new way of reading genes, which is very different than genetic tests and measures a reversible impact of our lifestyle on the genes, helping actually to develop and maintain um, very um, steady and healthy uh, lifestyle. So epigenetics means on top of the genes. So basically our uh, mechanism that switch on and off genes, so allows gene expression or not. And uh, epigenetics allows us actually to measure the impact of lifestyle in gene expression, expression, which is actually pretty amazing. So um, yes, um, we are definitely looking and following all the new technology available on the market. Uh, we already have genetic tests here performing in all our programs. And uh, in addition, we'll have also epigenetics tests as well. Mm -hmm. So there is a say, uh, we are what we eat. So that's- <laughs> Definitely so, right. So basically your strategy is food, food first. Yes. Um, so food for strategy in, in the context of, let's say, a uh, nutritional approach at Clinic Laprairie um, has a very particular meaning. Uh, so we pr prioritize uh, the use of uh, natural ingredients first in the diet of the patient in order to respond to their um, nutritional needs when we have lack of certain nutrients. We don't talk about deficiencies, but when the certain levels of important minerals, vitamins, or other nutrients are decreased. So first strategy that we use, we actually try to organize the diet in a way that allows the patient to uh, actually uh, get all the, all the nutrients throughout the food. Of course, our body is all about balance and um, doesn't like extremes. So for example, uh, and where the, actually the supplementation goes in uh, is that the supplementation must be done in a very, um, uh, let's say, uh, uh, supervised way, uh, despite the fact that are mainly um, uh, formulations of uh, uh, vitamins, minerals, or other plant extracts, um, but um, can serve actually uh, to support 
a diet um, when we have uh, deficiencies, so it can be associated with. Uh, in excess um, supplementation or, or nutrients in excess, uh, specifically fat soluble uh, vitamins, certain minerals, can actually create, create toxicity. So precisely for this reason, from a therapeutic point of view, it's really important that the, um, the supplementation uh, must be studied by professionals and they must be recommended and adapted in, in, in respecting actually the dynamics of, of, of our body. We have many clients coming from US and uh, they are very um, they, they, they are very interested and they are very aware about nutrition, healthy eating. Um, they make use of a lot of different types of supplementation. And sometimes we need to actually, when we do the screening of minerals, vitamins, or other nutrients, that allows us actually us to understand uh, the, 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 the excess or the lack, and then maybe we can um, promote some of nutrients and maybe we can exclude some supplements that are are no longer needed because uh, the body also needs to, to make, a, let's say, a, a certain point, a certain recovery, and uh, the use of, uh, of nutrients that we, uh, some of them we actually are able to store in our body. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely, yes, uh, food first strategy, if there's, uh, if there's a lack of, of nutrients mm -hmm. uh, in order to respond to body needs by using, for example, nutrient dense food like uh, seeds, nuts, spices, whole grains, herbs, seaweeds, plant oils, legumes, so many things. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. We could spend hours huh, with all the details. Do you have any suggestion or cooking methods you would like to recommend? I know already some answers, but uh, for you to share? Well, definitely. Well, I, Cooking, cooking methods must be always gentle. I, I really like to say that um, we should minimize the use of water, heat, and time in order to maximize the nutrient, nutrient uh, content or nutrient, nutritional uh, richness of the food. Unfortunately, certain cooking methods might induce a huge loss of nutrients. That, for example, is the case of water soluble vitamins or some many minerals. By diffusion, we lose them in the water when we cook them. So, the way how we manipulate the ingredients are very important. And, for example, the act of chopping and cutting is also very important as well because. Um, as we cut and chop the ingredients, we actually increase the exposure surface of the of the of the of the fragments of the, the, the ingredients, allowing the nutrient loss and even degradation if we uh, um, apply uh, the uh, high temperatures. So definitely being gentle with, with the food, choosing choosing cooking methods that allows us to minimize the loss of these nutrients uh, are one of the let's say recommendations that we do. Uh, there's many ways of doing short time. Uh, moderate temperature um, it's one of one of the the, the goals uh, for example we hear a lot uh, is grilling food better than because we don't use oil but then grilling food it's the way there is a certain way to do it because as as if we manage to burn uh, certain parts of the food, well, then we increase the presence of chemicals that actually can be very nice to our body so Gentle. <laughs> Does it mean that you actually promote like raw food? Do you think raw food will be the the top okay. best? Then? You know, uh, this is a very pertinent question because we saw also, we know very well the raw, raw diet, raw vegan diet that is, is, is widely used and applied. The thing about raw food is that not all the nutrients will be uh, assimilated in our uh, digestive system because they need uh, heat in order to increase their bioavailability. I can give you a simple example of beta carotens that are present in uh, yellow colorful food like um, pumpkin, squash, uh, carrot. So in order to enhance the bioavailability of, bioavailability of beta carotens, we need actually to cook food. Same thing for example for the red pigment of tomato so as, as a cooked tomato actually the lycopene which is the powerful antioxidant that is present in tomato will be much better assimilated and absorbed in our gut uh, after being cooked 
Wow. I'm not saying that raw tomato is bad, but if you want more antioxidants from tomatoes, definitely the cooked version is better. And then let's not forget the other, other important nutrients in tomatoes, like water fibers are very important, so raw version is still uh, an option. But certain cooking methods uh, and for certain food allows us actually to maximize or to enhance the bioavailability of certain chemicals, nutrients, and then uh, enhance also our capacity to absorb them. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you almost need a little cookbook maybe a CLP, not only new location, but a CLP <laughs> book, because really, uh, you know, even if me, I'm really plant-based nowadays, uh, the, the cooking and the time and this, I didn't really master that very well. Huh? So maybe one day yeah. we should do a cooking classes as a Zoom. Yeah, oh, actually, and actually, you yes. Us how to shop properly and uh, which food goes where, which vegetable, that would be nice. Huh? Yeah, actually, just as a side note that to, to jump out that actually in, in one in most of our uh, programs, we do integrate a workshop. So it's individual workshop, really Olga and our nutrition experts that they're helping them. But that means not only to tell you what to eat and how, it's really to share all the knowledge that you could have. Mm -hmm. And also in, in, the, in the highlight of the programs that uh, in our one of our program, we also have this master cooking class. Yeah, so we have integrated within the program. It should be a process, it should be fun, but at the same time knowledgeable for you to be take away also because you are only with us for one week, but you still have 50, two or three weeks that yeah. you're alone somehow. Uh, of course, that in later on we will have more supports, uh, but that is the important part also here at the Peanut Perry is this sharing, inspiring process. And then we have all these experts during your stay here, really to help you to have a specific workshop, uh, master class to help you to have uh, a fantastic range of toolbox. Even when you walk out of the Peri, Perry, you still have something to be able to have an impact on your daily life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, Ellen, you said you agree, love the holistic approach and the idea of a book uh, with cooking tips. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Thank you. We will take a note. <laughs> Francine, <laughs> thank you for the, your lovely compliments about the webinar today. Um, where do you have, how do you manage the commission for this program? Voilà. Cover the cost, the total cost or partial? Mm -hmm. Sure. The, com uh, the, the commission, uh, you mean, I guess, the commission for the travel advisor. I don't know if uh, you read the, the question as well. How do you manage the commission? So I guess you, you, Francine, I don't know if you want to tell us a little more. Cover the total cost or partial? Well, that uh, is... I the, see, I see what you mean. The commission is on everything you pay. Huh? Yeah, not, on the off, not only on the, the program. program, accommodation, and even what uh, what I know, if your clients come for a program, a specific program, but decide to have a little surgery, decide to have something else, huh, you pay the commission for on everything, huh, Rebecca. Yeah. So what what I could uh, I, what I could suggest is that we have a, a separate session because again today uh, the main focus should be on Olga since it's very rare for her to be able to be available here joining us. So what I would suggest that if you wish, then we could have a individual or a separate uh, a session that is more commercial focused. Then I could go into deeper uh, for all these related uh, questions. Huh? Yeah. We'll do that. Huh? All right, so I do not see any other question for, for that. And, um, and that's it, I think that would be it for today. Olga, it was a pleasure to have you. Thank you, we know you're very busy. So it was very uh, interesting. And you see, even I thought I learned so much, I learned yeah. even more, but now no, you're intriguing me. And uh, I'm glad <laughs> I love cooked tomato better than raw tomato. So I'm going to follow. I think sometimes you can also follow your own instinct of things you like. Huh? that you, for some reason, you like them better cook or raw than other. Maybe there is something inside us to guide us, no? Definitely, definitely, yes. Exactly. I, I, I used to say to, to our patients that uh, try to listen to your body because we are so busy and so occupied with many things in our life that we actually completely disconnect with our mind and body. And sometimes actually our body try to say many things and uh, we, we don't listen to them, definitely. Mm -hmm. And respecting that it can be the natural way of, of things like the season of the ingredients that we choose. It's very important. Just try to have a look on the autumn. What kind of vegetables available we have on autumn? 
definitely are pumpkins and squash and all these elements actually are a source of beta carotene, which later will be used in our body to, to produce the vitamin A, which is extremely important for our immune system. So nature somehow, or we adapted to nature somehow in order to prepare our body uh, before winter, reinforcing our immune system by, by using ingredients that are actually are a source of beta carotens and later will allow us to produce vitamin A and reinforce our uh, defense mechanisms. So yes, true, uh, um, just following the natural, natural let's say, uh, journey of the things. And, and, and yeah. So also then in your case, so eat what's on season, uh, in season and eat local as much as you can basically. Because when we respect the season, we also get the maximum amount of nutrients that all these ingredients provide. Because, I mean, environmental conditions and uh, atmospheric, let's say, uh, characteristic will allow to enrich the nutrients in the way that, for example, summer berries will never be the same as winter berries produced in winter. That yeah. is for sure. And uh, buying locally and respecting the season. It's one of the things that actually still matters and from a traditional point of view allows us to get uh, important nutrients in a natural way. Mm -hmm. So the, the nutrition is our medicine actually, our best medicine, good nutrition is our best medicament. Huh? Oh, no. All right, so but we can't wait now for future webinar with you or a little cooking, uh, uh, cooking classes with a little more uh, tune in on this. And, um, but thank you so much. I know it's a bit late for you, but thank you for joining mm -hmm. us. And thank you to everyone also who is present at this webinar. So have a good day, a good evening, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Huh? Thank you bye -bye. very much, all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, everyone.